so I, I, I'm actually just gonna wait a sec till my streams back up to continue on with what I was saying. You're good. You're good. I'm back. back. Are, are you sure? My iPad isn't picking yeah. it up. Yeah, you're back. All right, whatever. Um, so Twitch TOS says that you can't create. Oh, no, I'll just bring up the exact TOS because I'm on. I have it fucking open. I can just go to it. Affiliate. Um, let me just look at my fucking contract. All right, so 2.2. So, you know, part two and then second paragraph. Live content exclusivity. Solely for any live uh, audio visual work you choose to provide us um, as user content, your live Twitch content. Starting from beginning of the initial broadcast of any such live co Twitch content and continuing for a period of 24 hours following the end of the initial broadcast of such live Twitch content, the exclusivity period. Such live content is exclusive to Twitch, even as to you. So you don't own that content for 24 hours. During the exclusivity period of any live Twitch content, you will not, nor permit, or authorize any third party to broadcast, stream, distribute, exhibit, and otherwise make available such live Twitch content uh, in any manner. Notwithstanding the foregoing, you have the right to make your live Twitch content available during the exclusivity period solely via the Twitch services. Meaning that you can't upload your Twitch shit like any of your Twitch stuff to YouTube unless you're just uploading the VOD from Twitch because you're using the Twitch services. All right. Now, um, da -da 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 -da. one second to find, um, where is it? The fucking thing I'm trying to look for. Um, so at the beginning of that though, at 2.2 for your live content exclusivity, Solely for any live audio visual work you choose to provide us, right? As user content, your live Twitch content, right? Um, after the exclusivity period of any live Twitch content, the license um, to such live Twitch content will become non exclusive and you will have the right to broadcast, stream, distribute, exhibit, and otherwise make available live Twitch content in any manner or format desired to you. Initial broadcast means the initial broadcasting, streaming, distribution of exhibition, blah, 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 right? Um, live base is subject to compliance requirements. Yada 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 yada. Um, so it looks like it actually might have been reiterated because I remember there's missing a part right here that um, Frost or Frostbite Night. Oh no, sorry, Frost Fricks and I were talking about it the one time. Um, because it was talked about live Twitch content was not allowed, um, or or just Twitch content in general, which is audio visual work that you choose to provide is theirs and you can't use it anywhere else. Um, even after or whatever the fuck um because they have the right to take that away but like when you go to um the twitch tos itself um terms of service um third party use of devices and services modification license user content um, unless otherwise agreed or agreement between Twitch and blah, 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 blah. license to use Twitch, user content represent warranties, content promotions, endorsements, political activity, prohibited conduct. This is the only thing that most people are ever worried about. You agree not to violate any law, contract, intellectual property, or other third party right or commit a tort, and you are solely responsible for your conduct while on the Twitch services. Pretty much, we're not taking responsibility for your bullshit. Alright, that's fair. Whatever. Yep. Um... You agree that you will comply with these terms of service and Twitch's community guidelines and will not create, upload, transmit, distribute, or store any content that is inaccurate, unlawful, infringing, defamatory, obscene, pornographic, invasive of privacy or publicity rights, harassing, threatening, abusive, inflammatory, or otherwise objectionable. All right. Pornographic is the word. If it's sexually suggestive, that is not pornographic. At all. That is not pornographic. It is sexually suggestive. And pornographic would be something like actual genitalia, as defined by the US or by the ESRB, um, like services and whatnot, right? Because most shit that has to do with anything nowadays bases itself off the ESRB. Um, don't impersonate an entity, blah blah blah. Pretty much, don't say that you're someone that it, you aren't, right? And don't or access Twitch service accounts from others person's shit without permission. So don't hack people and don't claim that you're someone else. Um, 
Don't make unsolicited offers, advertisements, proposals, or junk mail. So don't be the person that's like, Hey, you looking for followers? Here's your thing. Like, click on this link. You know, like, or anything like that. Um, harvest or collect the email addresses. So, you know, don't fuck with Twitch's shit. Defame, harass, abuse, threaten, or defraud users on Twitch services or collect or attempt to collect personal information. So don't try and, you know, dox people and steal their info. Remove, circumvent, disable, damage, or otherwise interfere with security-related features. Most of all of this is Twitch-related. Like, not like what your stream is. Don't fuck with Twitch's shit. That's pretty, pretty much what this is. The TOS just breaks down into just be a decent human being. You know? No, the TOS for the shit that it, it talks about, literally, like, from, I think it's four onward? Yeah, four onwards, save for one of them. And it goes all the way up to whatever XVII is, all right? Literally, all of that is don't fuck with Twitch as a website. That's all. Don't or attempt to indicate or in any manner that you have a relationship um, with us or that have endorsed you or your product services, uh, blah, 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 unless, you know, you actually have. User attempt to use others, another user's account without authorization. Uh, interfere or disrupt with Twitch services or servers or networks. Like, manipulate identifiers in order to... This right here. This is VPN. Manipulate identifiers in order to disguise the origin of any user content transmitted through the Twitch services. You know how much fucking backlash Twitch would get if they got mad at people for using a VPN? But that's in the TOS. If you use a VPN, you break Twitch TOS. Section 9... Um, XII, whatever the fuck that is. I think that's, what, 12? So 912, if you use a VPN, you break TOS. Your own security, you break TOS. Yeah, that, that I agree. I, I do think they need to look over that and reiterate that because- No, they're collecting the information VPN on you. VPN is necessary for the safety of a lot of streamers. But how else are they gonna uh, collect information on you? Exactly, well, I mean, yeah. it's, it's also not just that, but like if someone were to consecutively create accounts because they kept getting banned Dude, and the only like solution to keeping them banned was to do an IP ban which I mean it's regardless because if you have VPN. Ethernet or a VPN you can easily change your IP mm -hmm. which I've I've had to do before yeah. um, I mean it, it kind of makes it like you know pointless but at the same time I do think that Twitch needs to go over that uh, and and change it because it's kind of an important thing to a lot of streamers because of how often they've been crashed or DDoSed. Well, see, the thing is, they don't need to change it. They just won't ever punish you for it. You can break TOS provided that you don't piss them off. That's all it is. They will never it's enact that rule. Their discretion. Yeah, they will never enact that because the amount of backlash that they would get for getting mad at people for using a VPN... Like, imagine someone in, like, North Korea that is transmitting information in order to save a bunch of lives or some shit, right? Got in trouble because he had to use a VPN. <laughs> like, you know how much backlash fucking Twitch would get? Because he decided that he wanted to livestream this shit to be able to help people? Like, <laughs> you broke TOS, your account's down. Like, what the fuck? You know? They would never enact that rule. But... Like, it says, in all caps right here, you agree not to, and then in lowercase after that, violate any law, contract. So pretty much, don't break the fucking law. Um, and then after that, it's just, you don't create, upload, transmit, distribute, or store any content that is inaccurate. In other words, you can't spread misinformation. So that means if you're uninformed on something, and you still talk about it, you break the US. Uh, if you talk about um, anything that is unlawful, so, uh, which is very fucking, for some cases, city by city. Um, infringing, defamatory, right? Obscene. Obscene is kind of like a, a gray area. Um, because what one person considers obscene is not obscene to another. Um, yep. and that's like the only gray area where you can get in trouble with like, oh, but it looks like they're doing the sex, and it's like, well, and that's why one, the maturity. Not, uh, that's why maturity is an option. That's why streams. my stream has 18 plus on it. If you have an issue with seeing something that is 18 plus in an 18 plus stream get the fuck out like i literally have it in the title and it even says before you can even watch my stream this is an 18 plus stream are you okay with watching this right if you are under the age of 18 and you are watching my stream you break twitch tos by the way <laughs> yeah. 
So because you're um, transmitting information that is inaccurate, that is prohibited conduct, 9-1, right there. <laughs> so, and invasive of privacy is, you know, just don't try and like figure out people's shit. Like, you know, that's their personal shit. Um, or fuck with publicity rights. Don't harass motherfuckers. Don't threaten motherfuckers. Right, and this is like, bitch, I'm a fucking stab you. Like, if you're goofing around, it's very obvious. Um, and they do take that into account. Like, Twitch isn't out to get you at all. Like, again, I love Twitch, yeah, yeah. right? They are not out to get you. And, like, they they have more important things to do than come at small streamers because they made a joke about stabbing their friend because it's a fucking joke. And, like, they take the entire thing into context. They don't just sit there and be like, oh, he said a bad thing? Let's ban him because that's the good thing for us. Yes, because publicity-wise, that makes a good thing for them. You know? Like... <laughs> It's... I've, I've met a few different Twitch staff, and all of them have been really fucking cool. Man, Twitch staff are fucking awesome, dude. Like, like Finn? Finn's cool as fuck. You ever met Finn? No, I have not. He's actually streaming right now. He's streaming some Guild Wars 3. Oh, Dude's nice. fucking cool. I met wait, a Twitch a, wait hold on. There's, there's a Guild Wars 3? 2. Guild Wars okay. 3. I was like, what? <laughs> 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 Since uh, when? But yeah, he always... Not always, but he very, very often watches Lawathon stream. Oh, right on. And, uh, yeah. He's, like, almost always in his chat. Dude's fucking cool as shit. Met him at a TwitchCon because he came to the VR chat meetup last year. And, yeah, it was pretty fucking cool, you know? Yeah, I mean... After all the shit that I've been hearing about Twitch, like, like how Twitch has been handling public relations and handling, like, uh, you know, big events that have been going on, and hearing it from like people, not not even from Twitch, yeah. hearing it from people, I was like, man, I, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about Twitch staff. And then I met them, and they were all fucking cool. And I was like, what? Why are people I mean, think about, about it. There's all this shit talk about McDonald's, but it's not like it's the employees' fault most of the time. Like they just fucking work there. You yeah, know? exactly, exactly. It's not like they're out to get you. They got more important things to do. Yeah, exactly. So. But now, now people that are like, oh, knowing... Twitch TOS, it's like number one. It's only TOS if you get reported for it. Number two. It's probably actually not TOS. Like, because I remember the one time uh, I said uh, the word midget, you're Maddie, right? And he was like, oh, don't say that. And I'm like, what? Like, it doesn't break TOS. It breaks TOS. It's like, Maddie, I love you. It doesn't break TOS. You're wrong. <laughs> like, I adore that man, but he's too concerned about TOS. Because it doesn't break TOS. <laughs> like, I could sit here and talk about the TOS all day because it's. It's such a misunderstood thing, especially in the VR chat community, because like they don't know what they're allowed to stream and what they're not. It's like, okay, number one, you're playing a game that is what is it, 13 plus? Yes. Right? And yeah. most of the streamers for it are 18 plus streams. Mm -hmm. And most of the content on there, people know, is adult content. All right. Whether or not the devs want it to be, it is. All right. They, they made an open source game, it's going to be like that. Alright. Like, you put something on the internet and you expect people not to put porn on it. Okay, like, it's not how that works. There like, have also been several times where Twitch has thought about banning VR chat from being able to stream it. Well, Second Life is banned. Mm -hmm. Because it was just fucking sexual roleplay. But that's because in that, it was just a lot of. There, there was graphic sex. Like, Second Life had graphic sex in it. Um, I think IMVU is also banned. But I could be wrong on that. But, uh... Nah, man, like... VR chat debatably should be banned, but also not. Because if you mark your stream as 18+, there's no reason whatsoever for anyone to be upset about seeing something they wouldn't see in an 18-plus movie. Mm. Like, anything you see Thanks. in... Like, a movie that is meant for adults... You're gonna see some titty every once in a while, you know? It might be on accident, but that happens in VR chat, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, exactly. if you get upset about seeing 18 plus content in an 18 plus stream, what is your problem? Like, Agreed. you're the problem. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not the streamer, it's you. Because you willingly went in and saw something that you knew was going to be there, right? And that's why, like, when people get mad at me for, like, I'll, because I don't sugarcoat shit in my shit, right? Like, on my stream, right? If I'm, if you're being an asshole, I'll be like, no, you're being a fucking asshole, right? Like, I'll call you out on your shit, 
right? I'm not gonna be like, oh, you're the worst person on the planet. Like, I had a an interaction with another streamer that was really shitty the other day, and I wasn't. Hey, how's it going, Springs? It's been a while, buddy. How you been? Um, so I had an interaction with another streamer in their chat, and I was like, all right, well, I didn't mean to cause an argument. I thought we were having a civil conversation, but you know, some people have a victim complex. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to take it in an aggressive manner, but you know, like you were leaving out this information, um, and because they were shit talking on like big streamers like Lolathon and whatnot thinking that they're only big because they have meme avatars and if you're not part of that group you're not going to get big and it's like um well I mean just Lolathon as an example has a YouTube channel has a lot of networking has a Twitter has an Instagram does a lot of shit and has a discord community that's incredibly active he has a community he works at it you know he, he put in the fucking work it's not like he's just got big overnight like now two Lola things number one I'm pretty sure that I know exactly who you're talking about. Mm. Number two, um, a lot of the streamers either A, pretty much pioneered the content that they're streaming. Like Lolathon mm -hmm. was one of the very first people to do meme avatars. Oh, yeah. And every now other streamer. Hey, I'm making... Every other streamer that does meme avatars that got popular was either found. Like, he was either found by Lawathon and rated them several times to where they actually started getting that popularity because they, they deserve it, or B, was found by someone else because of the same reason. Um, well, this person was saying, like, they were talking shit on other streamers because, like, you're not going to get big otherwise because VR chat is so hard to get big. It's like, no, it's actually the easiest game on the entire platform to get big in because that's networking the game. You aren't going to get big in VR chat if you sit on. Well, you might, you know, there's always the outlier, but, like, generally, you're not going to get big if you aren't going out and talking with people and meeting people. Like, you're not going to have that happen in Fortnite. You're playing with four people, at most. Or, or what is it, yep. three people in, in Fortnite? I don't know, I don't play Fortnite. Still a small right? group of yeah, you have a small group of people that you play with, and then you don't ever see them again. Right, you aren't going and networking and promoting your Twitch or anything like that. I'm not saying go on VR chat and like, oh my god, I'm a streamer by the way. Like, no, I'm saying that if it comes up in conversation, then yeah, cool, right? Because like, I hang out with a lot of people and most people don't even know that I'm a streamer because I'm not going like, oh, streamer by the way, right? And since I'm in desktop, I don't have that. Um, my brain is flatline. People, the, the 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 signal pretty much. That I'm a streamer because like you guys all look at your hand right I don't have that right so people don't know I'm a streamer because I'm just chill and I actually go around and I converse with people I just have fun and then if they start talking about something personal I'll be like yo yo, yo hold up um, I am streaming by the way that's the only time that I will let them know that I'm that I say streamer by the way because yeah, I don't want them to reveal something that's personal right because some people they overshare on VR chat because as much as a lot of us don't want to admit it we're the weird kids all right like <laughs> a lot of the people in VR chat are the outliers from not society per se but like people that don't quite fit right not always but a large percentage of us are people that have social anxiety or we're yeah, using vr chat to learn how to talk to people or we need that like human interaction but we're introverts we don't want to talk to people type thing right like i personally don't fall into any of that but i'm again an outlier in that i'm a social butterfly that loves talking to people i hate people but i love talking to people right and this allows me to do that without needing to go out into the fucking cold because I live in Canada. Um, <laughs> but like, <laughs> you know, it's just, I, I don't get how you think that VR has the hardest game to grow in unless you're part of these special groups if you're not putting in the work. You know, well, like, I, you have to put in the work. You have, like, I studied the analytics and they were saying, they literally said to me, they, okay, number one, they timed me out from being able to reply even after I was like, oh, I didn't know that I, I thought we were having a conversation because people with, you know, a victim bias and or a victim comp complex thinking everything's a fight for power, right? A win and lose and win and lose. It's like, uh, we, it's a conversation. Like, we had the JoJo talk earlier, right? Like, we clearly had differing viewpoints. It's not like I got mad at you. There wasn't a winning, there wasn't a losing. We were giving our opinions on it, you know? Agreed. But yeah. having a victim complex, every everyone's out to attack you. Right, and it's an argument with everything, and it's like, no, it's a conversation. But and then they bring up their age, and I'm like, all right. And they talk about they they own successful businesses and shit. I'm like, well, clearly you don't if you are talking about 
being short on money and using VR chat and streaming to make money. You clearly don't have a successful business, but I mean, that's an entirely another can of worms. But like, if you study all this stuff and you say that you know it all, why are you disregarding all this other information? But then you get mad at me. And then after I let you know, like I literally manage a team with over 50 people, right? Are any of us huge? No. Are some people on that team bigger than me? Hell yeah. All right. Does that matter? No. You know why? Because your numbers don't fucking matter. It's your community that does, right? And like the type of vibe that you bring, right? If you're able to like jive well with people and you're able to make people's day, that's what fucking matters as a streamer. I don't give a fuck about my numbers. That's why literally in my rules for my channel, it says, don't mention viewer count. I don't give a shit. You know, like I don't because... My community was more excited about me hitting a thousand followers than I was because it's just a fucking number. I'm here to make people smile and have a good time. But like I mentioned that, you know, I study this stuff literally six hours a day at minimum. Like I study these numbers. I push the numbers. I learn shit. I study so much shit, right? And there's a reason why on December 31st, I was at 806 followers. By J the end of January, I was at over a thousand. I've been streaming for over two years. In one month, I gained 25% of my following more because I learned what I was doing wrong, how to do things. But after they timed me out, and I'd mentioned that all this stuff, right? It's not like I was being rude about it. Like, there was definitely a misunderstanding, and I apologized that they might have taken it that way. But then they went on about it, timed me out, and they're like, so where's your following? Why aren't you big? Oh my god. I was like, all right, well, dick move for one. That's straight up bullying, of which also breaks Twitch TOS, by the way. Um, number two... Um, if you can't handle someone talking with you, maybe don't put yourself in a situation where people talk to you. Like, that, mm, you know? But, I don't know. It's, some people just don't have their head on straight. Well, and I like, they lose this. respect really quick. I, I do agree with one thing. Hmm. Given the average number of people who actually stream VR chat, the general consensus is that it is hard to make it big. And the reason it's why is because you need to find your fucking thing. Now, a lot of people stream VR chat, hoping to make it big, just based on the sheer fact that they stream. And that's not enough. What they well, need. You're not going to grow on a non discoverable platform. Of course. Like, of course they're not. <laughs> Twitch is I not mean, a discoverable well, actually, platform. Actually. I mean, no, no. It compared to any other platform, it is not discoverable. Well, yeah, there are 25 viewers per streamer. All right, there are 25 people on Twitch that have never streamed for every one streamer. All right. Now I don't know about you. I currently have three viewers. Where's my other 22? Oh, they're probably watching someone else. You know what I mean? It's not like we're all entitled to these 25 viewers. You have to earn someone's interest, right? You're not going to just get it, right? So you have to put in the work. And well, if you, you want to people to find your shit. partly because of the fact that you had, to, you had to turn your VPN off. True, but that's not and the point. That dis disrupts the uh, viewer count. You were at like about 9 or 10 when you did it. Yeah, there's that. What the fuck are you dumbasses oh, doing? Stupid ass cats? It is 6 a.m. Um... <laughs> But no, like, you, you can't just... Well, number one, if you're focusing on the numbers when you stream, you're doing it wrong. Alright. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't give a fuck about my numbers. I studied the numbers, and I would like to grow, but my sole reason for wanting to grow is to see, well, number one, this is my job, right? But I don't want to be able to be like, oh my god, I want to get all of the, the donations, I want to get... All. Like, my goal is to be able to turn off donations for me and make a permanent charity button. That is my goal. Alright. I want all of my income... To be generated outside of my community meaning that it's either through them watching ads which doesn't cost them anything um say something like an amazon affiliate link so if they're already gonna buy something on amazon if you click on that link anything that you buy it doesn't cost you anything extra i get a commission percent it doesn't even matter if it's the same thing that i put in my little blacksmith whatever the fuck it's called right like that's how that works right um and like Merch is one thing, because some people just want merch, but that's not a main form of income I want, right? Um, the same thing with, like, bits and emotes. That's entirely up to people if they want to, not asking for that. But, like, stuff like sponsorships, brand deals, um, you know, like, that's the type of thing that I want to be able to generate income from. Not from my community, just give me money. Uh, Mickey? Yeah. Yeah, your music. 
Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, like, I don't want to be relying on my community for money, right? That's not why I'm streaming. Yeah. Eventually, I'd like to have a following where it's passive like that, where it's just from them seeing an ad. Like, you know? <laughs> um, Because, like, I don't want to rely on other people spending their money on me. Like, at the moment, yes, I have donations open and stuff. Because I do need money, right? Everyone needs fucking money, right? But I'm not gonna beg for it. I'm not gonna see this as like, oh, this is the end all be all. This is how you. My bad, where's my music? Yeah, no worries. Um, it's not like I'm sitting here like, oh, please, please donate. I need the donation. Like, what well, you know? I've told TSB pretty much, guys, fuck off. Don't give me no money, right? Because <laughs> they kept telling me, you're next on the list. You're next on the list, and I kept doing like, don't do it. There are other people more deserving of it. I mean, at the moment, it would really help me out, but. I'm in a situation that's a little bit harder than it was at the time of telling them that, and I'm not gonna go and ask for it, because if they want to, they will. I would never bug people for money, right? Because, well, number one, I don't feel like I deserve it, because, yay, imposter syndrome. Or is it imposter syndrome or imposter complex? Whatever the fuck it is, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. But that type of thing, it's just, I don't want to come across as that kind of person, because I don't view myself as that kind of person. I would rather spend money than be given money. You know, like, I want to help other people. I want to be the person that's told not to spend money on someone, you know? So... <laughs> I want to be able to get to the point where, by September, I'm part of TSB. Like, I want to be in a situation where I can do that from all of the revenues of uh, content that I can create that allows me to add, like, like you know, like, an income, you know, because I have four YouTube channels, right? I've got like a TikTok account that I'm eventually gonna figure out how to use. I've got Instagram, I got Twitter, I got all this other shit, right? Like you can make all that work. You can use that to grow, right? Like I'm not. I would never discredit like the way that other people have grown, right? Because if you're a part of the community, like you said, your buddy was, right? And you hit partner incredibly fucking quick because you're already a part of the community. You still earned that. You still earned that respect of all those people, and the uh, people want to support you that way, and that makes so much yeah, sense. Exactly. I don't have that. I'm not as intertwined with everyone in the group, right? Like, well, how often do we hang out, really, right? Like, <laughs> we see each other for, like, maybe an hour or two at a time, at most a week, <laughs> and we're like, all right, cool, what's <laughs> up? You know, like, I think this is the longest conversation we've had ever, you know? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And it, it's nothing wrong with that. Like, we're still friends. It's just we, you know, we're doing our own thing, right? Like, we're different people. And, like, that's why I, I always tell my people, like, oh, sorry, I haven't been in the stream in a long time. I haven't been around. I'm like, you got your own life to live, dude. Like, I'm not upset by you living your life. Like, if you want to stop by, that's cool. Like, thank you, right? But if you've got, you know, like, your kid's soccer practice or you wanted to play a new video game that just came out like you got your own life to live you know like i'm not going to get upset about people not stopping by my stream like you have your life i'm not here to dictate your life i'm here to have a good time and if you stop by i want to make you smile i want to make you happy that's why i stream is to make people smile and make people happy and i do dumb shit um but i have to earn it in a slightly different way because well, I'm not good at Blender or Unity. You know, I can't make good meme avatars like my boy Metal Bro here. All right, like I can't do none of that shit. I would like to eventually be able to, maybe, but that's not my goal, right? The only thing I got going for me is, well, I can talk like this. And people just really enjoy it, you know. My main viewership is people that stop by my stream to fall asleep because I can make people happy by putting them to sleep. As dumb as that sounds, my voice apparently is soothing to a lot of people. And that helps them fall asleep, which to me is a good thing, because it helps them, right? And that's what I want to do, is help people in any way that I can. And that's why, like, actually, Metal Bro, I gave you the role without even asking, but um, in my server, there's a, ch a category called stream work, all right? That's for my team, but, like, there's a, a channel called resources. You're welcome to use any of that. I just constantly upload shit to that. Like... Thank you. Yeah, dude. Shit. Um... Like my stream info guide, it was just a, a quick thing I threw together in like three and a half hours of quick studying. Um, but like, it's just like that's like peak times for certain media platforms, ways to generate ad revenue, things for panels. Because like a lot of the people like that are on my team have either never streamed before, or don't stream enough, or they are just hitting affiliate, or they're trying to hit affiliate, or like they just want to have a guide, you know? 
So I'm like, yeah, like, here's all this stuff. Like, you want to learn how to resize your Twitch emotes? Here's the thing. You want to, like, do noise control in your room? Well, this is useful for some people because it's a type of reno, right? Like, it's not things that you would generally think of, but, like, even... Well, well obviously, you know, I well, I've been carrying on this conversation with you probably longer than it needed to be, <laughs> but um, I can just keep <laughs> talking, right? And I'm able to talk with anyone. I can literally speak with anybody about anything. And it's because there's a YouTube channel called Charisma on Command, right? I've literally watched all of their videos three times. It sounds lame, but I learned to talk to people so well by watching the YouTube videos. So I share that with my community. I've, I've watched their videos too. I've watched every single one of their videos at least three times though. <laughs> Just really to make sure. Videos. Really, they're really good videos. Um, They've taught me a lot of on how to be more confident because when I first came to VR chat, I was, I had social anxiety too. You know? Yeah, like it's I was super actually useful. when I showed up I was actually someone you'd refer to as a codependent. I have no idea what that technically means. It pretty much means that I had trouble talking for myself and I relied on other people to talk for me. Ah, uh, then now look at you. Yeah. Meme Lord Extravenaire. Goddamn right. Extravenaire. Yeah. But like I even like share like Meme Lord YouTube is fine. Channels, like, just keep it short. Alright. We'll just call you Meme Me. There's an extra E on the end. Me, me. Me, me. Yeah. Hey, you like this government sanctioned dank may -mays? <laughs> Oh boy. But yeah, like, there, there's so much to it. I, like, I want to keep talking about this, but like, I can feel my bladder wanting to explode from the entire pot of coffee yeah. in me right now. At the same, at the same time, I should probably call it a night uh, because I it's need six to twenty in the morning. Stuff. Yeah, it's there. about time I head to bed. I've been up for a while. All right, this seems right, unlikely. Right, Go and drop a read on. And Metallic's in here like I didn't even get to talk. <laughs> no, I I just enjoyed listening. Saying I'm just so new, it's like there's just so much to like learn and take in. You know, it's like I'm trying to learn as much as I can. Oh, it's a good example. Here's one of the people that ended up joining, seeing all the shit that I share. <laughs> all right, night guys. Right. Love you, homie. Take it easy. All right, who should we go and drop you guys on? I'm just a like, I'm just a lost child. What the fuck are you doing, cat? Just wanders around looking for answers or something. All right, um, sorry, my cat just did a thing. Um, who to drop y'all on? I'm a, you know, we were talking about anxiety prime earlier. Let's go and let's, let's strap you guys on here. He's a good boy. So, once again, thank you everyone for all the uh, the follows, all the subs. It means a whole lot. You guys, it means way more than you know. As we were just discussing, it's y'all, y'all good peoples, y'all lovable good peoples. All right. Uh, so let's go hop up over here. Hopefully, mute the stream really quick so you guys don't get your ears blown out. Fuck off. I want to mute it. All right, there we go. All right, so we're going to start up that raid. I hope you guys all had a fantastic time. If you're not already a part of the Discord, I highly encourage you to join us. We do a lot of dumb shit, goof around, and then occasionally play video games. I love you all. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic time over anxiety stream. Let them know trash sent you. <laughs> See you later, my dudes.